Welcome back to the channel, my name is Abon, we're back with more Football Manager 2019 and the Chelsea save and in today's episode it's a big home game against Manchester United, we're getting the big teams out of the way straight away here and we're in the middle of a very tough run at the moment with Europe coming up, we started our European campaign, Carabao Cup now um, taking place, we've got our third round match coming up. So we're in the middle of a busy schedule and we've got a tough run of fixtures at the moment. We're facing Man United today, we've just faced Arsenal and the following Premier League game I think is against Spurs. So we're in a very difficult run at the moment. Last episode in our first league game of the season, we did lose 2-1 to Liverpool. We got an early goal, Rodrigo on his debut getting uh, the early goal for us. But uh, Joe Gomez with two set-piece goals, giving Liverpool the 2-1 win and a game where we were very much second best. Thankfully though, since then we have actually picked up maximum points. I just don't know what happened in this game, it just didn't fall well for us. But since then, we've actually won all our matches. We went on from there to beat Leicester City 2-0. Two goals here for Alvaro Morata. Went with um, a very similar team and a similar formation, just midfield was changed a little bit. Hazard also started the match, but went off after 73 minutes with a bit of a knock. This one was, it was a bit of a slow builder, this one. It was a 2-0 win and first half was... I think the highlight list. I don't think anything happened in the first half. But in the second half, uh, we take control of the game. We have more possession than them. Leicester had one shot on goal all game. Really not a good day for them. But um, it did take until 71 minutes for us to get our first goal. Morata scoring uh, to give us the lead. We could have made it 2-0 uh, just five minutes later. But David Luiz uh, missed a penalty, hit the woodwork. So uh, for now, he's off penalties. And... Uh, if uh, Hazard's playing, he'll take him, but I think Rodrigo might be a second. He's not too bad at spot kicks, and neither is Fabregas, so we've got a few decent penalty takers. We did get a second goal, however, before 80 minutes, and Morata scoring his second goal of the match, so it was a good win. It took a while to get going, but eventually we did sort of really take control. Leicester just didn't really turn up at all. Uh, we then won 1-0 away against Huddersfield, a game where, again, I think we were better, uh, but just a one goal. Would have liked a few more, but at least we got three points. And again, it was Morata, 37 minutes this time, um, first half goal. Rodrigo not having too good of a game, uh, defended very strongly. Huddersfield uh, had, you know, a fair few shots, a couple of shots on target. Billing did well for them in midfield. Other than that, they didn't create too many chances. Um, it was all right. I would have liked a couple more goals, one or two more goals, but we got three points. Uh, then we defeated Burnley 3-1. And Burnley, the uh, recipients of the uh, the injury issue at the moment with FM19 and the beta, which a lot of people have reported and they are working on it. Thankfully, I've not been on the receiving end of it too much, but Burnley had three injuries in this match. Robbie Brady went off on 45 minutes and then in injury time, his uh, replacement, Lookman, went off. And then in the second half, Ben Mee went off with an injury. So I think Burnley actually were down to 10 men with Mee's injury because Chris Wood replaced uh, Ashley Barnes as well. So I think they did have to play 10 minutes or so with 10 men. Burnley did actually take the lead in the match though. Robbie Brady scored uh, just a couple of minutes before he went off with the injury from a free kick. So Burnley actually took the lead in the game. Uh, we equalised two minutes later, Victor Moses scoring to uh, send us into half time at one apiece. About two and a half minutes into the second half, we made it 2-1 and took the lead for the first time. And Golo Kante with the goal there. And then Pedro came off the bench, uh, replacing Morata to make it 3-1. So it was a good, comfortable performance. We dominated possession. We had much more shots than our opponents. But uh, again, we, we went behind, which uh, we really shouldn't have done. Our next was a tough trip to Emirates Stadium against Arsenal. We won 1-0. It was a very tight game, this one. Arsenal actually uh, had a bit more of the ball than us. Uh, but we did actually end up getting more shots than them. But it was a close match, and it was only one goal that separated it, and it was N'Golo Kante, 22 minutes. It's two goals in two for him now. It's interesting, because he's not really an attacking player. He was playing box-to-box -box midfielder, and now he's actually playing. He's doing really well. It took a while for him to actually get going and get fitness, but once he's now fully fit, he's actually got a couple of goals for us, which is good. Arsenal uh, didn't really threaten us too much. Kepper actually didn't have that much to do in goal. Aubameyang had a horrible game up front, just a 5.8. Uh, but uh, Torreira created some chances and did well. Uh, Mesut Ozil also uh, creating three chances for Arsenal, but they couldn't find a goal. We found our goal. Again, we defended very well. A couple of injuries, though. Arsenal uh, lost Aaron Ramsey, and then Hazard went off on 74 minutes, and he's going to miss about three weeks with a back injury. So Hazard is out of action at the moment, but I hope to have him back in the near future. Um, and we beat Arsenal 1-0 at Emirates. That's not an easy thing to do. Our final game off screen was our first match in the Europa League this season. We faced that Ukrainian side of Orskler away from home. We won 5-1. All five of our goals came in the first half. And then in the second half, we just kind of sat back and just took it easy, I think. 
I did go with a bit of a uh, rotated sides here. Uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek played. Uh, we brought in Christensen in at centre back. Emerson and Zappa Costa played at wing back. Uh, Fabregas and Jorginho played in midfield. Still a strong team, but I did rotate a little bit because we've got Man United coming up. Rodrigo impressed with a first half hat trick. Could have had so many more. If we'd have continued in the second half, I reckon we could have had double figures in goals in this match. But 5 1's good. I'm happy with 5 1. So yeah, it was a hat trick by Rodrigo. He scored a penalty after just two and a half minutes and then made it 2 0 on nine minutes. Loftus Sheet made it 3 0 on 12 minutes and then 18 minutes. We could have made it four, but um, a second penalty for Rodrigo, but this time uh, it was actually saved by the goalkeeper Schust. And then Willian made it 4 0 on 35 minutes, his first goal of the season. And then in 43 minutes, it was uh, Rodrigo completing his hat trick in remarkable circumstances. Uh, Schust had a horrible game in goal. Voskala did get a goal themselves, a consolation goal. It was Kravchenko scoring on 69 minutes. Uh, a minute later, they had a red card. A Rebinok, the midfielder, got a red card. So, you know, it's a strong performance. And, you know, what we don't look too bad going into Man United in terms of fitness. We're okay, apart from Hazard being out. I was going to play the Europa League game in a live com, but our group is not really very exciting at all. Uh, Vorskla is the Ukrainian side we just beat, and we also have Eintracht Frankfurt of Germany and a Dinamo of Croatia. I think that's Dinamo Zagreb. So I don't think we'll be focusing too much on Europa League in these live comps, unless we're in danger of going out of this group. And if that's the case, then we are really not doing anything right because we should be winning this group with ease. But I think in terms of Europa League in the live comps, I don't think I'll be putting any focus on it until we get to maybe like the quarterfinals i think once we get to that point if there's a chance of us actually winning this competition then i'll start focusing on it but for now i think we'll just go through the league games and any big cup games that might come up because i think they're the most important in terms of how these videos are going to play out i am only going to be doing one live commentary per video i want to try and keep these 20 minutes maximum unless uh, we do have like the odd double. If we have some two-legged cup games or Europa League games coming up in the future, I might do both of those in one video. Uh, the same goes for the end of the season as well. Uh, we end with Cardiff and Everton in our final two games, and I will most likely do both of those in one video. But apart from that, uh, I'll be doing one live compare game. In terms of how often I'll be doing games like in the season, I tend to go sort of about five games between live comps. So our next one is probably going to be around Bournemouth maybe. That's just how I like to do it. That's how I've done it uh, for the whole time, really. And it's an easy way of not giving me too much work to do off screen, uh, as well as, you know what, trying to make it about 10 videos or so per season. That's kind of how I like to go. But I think that's enough talking. Uh, the league table, by the way, I haven't shown you this yet. Uh, we're in fifth place at the moment. Uh, Liverpool and Man City are still unbeaten. Uh, but uh, we have just that one loss against Liverpool. Other than that, we've won all our matches. We're looking good. Uh, Rodrigo's top scorer with those four goals. Of course, three of those did come against Vorskla. But hopefully, he'll get some more goals in the foreseeable future. This is what we played in the Europa League. We did actually go to a back two of David Luiz and Christensen and uh, neglected the back three. But I think we mainly go with three at the back. We will go back to that for Man United. Thankfully, the Europa League really hasn't affected our fitness too much. It's just the travelling that's going to be a bit of a worry because we've just come back from Ukraine. Uh, but Hazard's injury is the only casualty at the moment. It's going to be up for another couple of weeks or so. Other than that, we look really good. Uh, but this is what I think we're going to play. I think with these players out wide, I think we have to make use of them. But I'm going to try and keep our three at the back. So this is kind of like Antonio Conte's 3-4-3. Very similar, I think. Hopefully, I'll have success with it like Chelsea did in 2017. Manchester United with... A first team, pretty much. A th um, four three three. David De Gea, Luke Shaw, Phil Jones, Eric Bay, Antonio Valencia. Uh, Ignacio Camacho is uh, a new signing. How much did they pay for him? Uh, £16 million pounds from Wolfsburg. Only one season spent at Wolfsburg. Didn't play too much. And Man United have picked him up. He's playing in behind Pogba. And is that Adrian Silva? Yes, it is. Uh, from Leicester? Yep. Yeah. A little bit of profit for Leicester there. Although they probably paid that much in terms of wages. And then the front three of Alexis Sanchez, Romelu Lukaku and Jesse Lingard. On the bench, it's a Romero, Smalling, Matic, Rashford, Ashley Young, Lindelof and Martial. Underway at Stamford Bridge, taking on, of course, Jose Mourinho, who's on the fire a lot at United at the moment. Let's see what happens with the game. Corner here for Man United, about 10 minutes in. Lukaku does header and it is over, but early chance for United there. 15 minutes played, we've got a throw in. Victor Moses has got it. Here's Cesc Fabregas. 
and he's dispossessed. And Camacho uh, gives it to Lukaku. Remember, Lukaku got a long way to go. He's still in his own half. And Marcos Alonso is taking the ball off him. And we've got plenty of players forward. Pedro's on the ball now. Can he put a cross in there? He can, but it's not really to anybody in De Gea uh, with the easy collection. I mean, United giving the ball away in a bad situation there. I mean, that's always bad to give away the ball, but that was almost criminal there. Paul Pogba on the ball now. And uh, looking to go by himself, but lays it off for Silva, his Lingard. But to Pogba. And uh, Valencia in space out wide. Loads of space. Got away from, uh, I think it was Alonso and Lukaku with the header. And 16 minutes played. Man United take a lead through Lukaku. has already scored four goals. And scores against his old club Chelsea as well. It's Pogba with the ball to Valencia who got away from uh, Alonso. And the cross was in there and the Lukaku with the header. And uh, well, the three goals that we've conceded in live comes have all come from headers. But that one wasn't a, uh, a set piece, although it was still a cross. Given away badly by Bailly. Rodrigo's got it. And it's uh, Willian in the box. And Willian equalises um, almost about a minute after their goal. So a nice swift reply. Willian with uh, his second of the season. We've got one against the Ukrainians. And now he's scored against City. That's his first league goal. Eric Bailly with a horrible pass here. Jorginho with the easiest cutout ever. And then Rodrigo with the run. Forced that wide. But put, put it in across. Willian was there just on the edge of the six-yard box. And converts to make it 1-1. Edging it possession-wise at the moment, but still a very tight game. Fabregas has picked up a bit of a knock. We do have plenty of midfield options on the bench, though. We have Kovacic on the bench. We also have N'Golo Kante on the bench. Why did I not start Kovac Kante? Throw in here um, in the last minute of the half. And we've won a penalty. Fabregas brought down by Pogba. It was right on the edge of the area as well. I'm not sure if that was outside the box. We had a lot of penalties this season. Who's taking this? It's David Luiz. Um, I think it's too late to change it. Let's see if he can score it. Yes, he can. We take a lead right at the dead of the first half. And uh, it's 2-1. I mean, David Luiz isn't bad at penalties. Do get me, don't get me wrong. But I'd like some attacking players scoring penalties. Not our defender. Because if he saves it, then um, David Luiz has got to track back very quickly. So I don't like the fact that I've got a defender taking penalties. I mean, he has scored a couple. But I'd like, I'd like to have attacking players taking them. Pogba, the villain there, giving away the penalty. And uh, we do lead 2-1 at half time. Which is good against United. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to amend the penalties thing now. And uh, we'll remove David Luiz. We have Fabregas. Uh, let's stick Rodrigo in there as well. Free kick here for Marcus Alonso. And uh, it is saved by De Gea. Whether we couldn't hold on to it. But thankfully... Okay, we've got some goal line technology here. Um, David Lu De Gea made a save. But it was almost over the line. Going to make a substitution. Fabregas is... Uh, He's not struggling too much, but I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to move Jorginho into that playmaker role. We'll bring on N'Golo Kante. But I think we've been the better team in this match. United have got a goal themselves, but they've not played especially well. 15 minutes left. We just all lead 2-1 and hopefully we'll continue to by the end of this match. We're going to tighten up though. Let's see if we can hold on to it. Pogba's in possession here. 79 minutes played. Coming up to 80, last 10 minutes. Here's Camacho to Pogba. Rafa Camacho again. Or Ignacio. It's not Rafa. He's a Liverpool youngster. Matic. Finds Rashford who's come on for, I think, Sanchez. And has a go and scores. 2-2. Two, two. I think Rashford have replaced Sanchez. But I'm not too sure. And Man United have equalised. Rashford's first touch there to get past Moses was brilliant. And I took a deflection as well off of uh, David Luiz. Unfortunate. And it's now 2-2. Two, two. Got another change we can make. Uh, it's going to... B Pedro coming off. We're going to go to two up top. We're going to bring an Alvaro Morata. We're going to see if we can get a win out of this. And we're going to move Willian in behind the two strikers uh, as an attacking midfielder. We're into the last 10 minutes here. It's been a very close match. I think a draw might be fair. I think United have, uh, have, haven't done awfully today. I think they'll be happy with the point away from home. I think for us, though, it would be more like two drop. But there is a chance here. Moses with a cross. And uh, what's going to happen here? It's headed away. Only as far as Kante. Here's Jorginho. To Victor Moses. Moses with a cross in there. Rodrigo's there. And it's back to 3-2. We are once again leading. Rodrigo, five in the season now. Rodrigo's looking like a player. Header away by Eric by Kante. Gave it to Jorginho. And then Moses uh, is going to get a lot of assists this year, I reckon. Rodrigo with a header. Brilliant stuff. 3-2. Now let's hold on to it. Let's go defensive, actually. Let's just try and hold on. Let's park the boss against Jose Mourinho. See how he likes it. Going to replace Jorginho with Kovacic, I think. Just try and keep it fresh in midfield. But we're here into injury time. We do still lead 3-2. And I think the time is about to run up. Whistle's going to blow in a second, please. Come on. No United goals in Fergie time, please. I thought we were over that. 
Please do not score. No, we don't. Full time, Kepa would have had that anyway. 3 2. Went behind, quickly replied, and then uh, took a 2 1 lead. Rashford equalised. Rodrigo with the winner. Once again, pretty solid in defence. Moses doing well. Alonso also playing well. Uh, Rodrigo, man of the match, with a goal and an assist. It's another good performance. And since losing to Liverpool, we've got a perfect record. And that does see us rise up to second place as well. Everyone played now. So we are just a point behind Liverpool, who um, are now still unbeaten. Man City are as well. Fabregas injury, going to keep him out for about a week or so. So he will miss the EFL Cup third round match, which is against Sheffield Wednesday, by the way. I didn't show you that. We are facing Sheffield Wednesday in the Carabao Cup third round. It's championship opposition, so we should be all right there. It's a good win against Manchester United, and uh, that will do it for today's video. So coming up, like I said, it'll be about five or six games between videos. So I think next time we will probably do something around the Bournemouth area. I imagine it'll be Bournemouth, but if we get a bit further, I'll try and get to Fulham, but it'll be somewhere around here, I'm sure. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, do drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when this and up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. Follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. I'll see you next episode, which will be on Tuesday. And we'll um, go about a month in the future and see where we are. Hopefully, we will continue to win because we've been winning non-stop since uh, we lost the first match to Liverpool. We'll try and keep the wins going. But for now, thank you for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Goodbye.